in conjunction with civil society organization is calling on the federal government and stakeholders to work with synergy in nipping mass atrocities recorded across the country in the board. The call was made in the FCT on Tuesday in a seminar with theme remembering to prevent and enhancing accountability for mass atrocities through effective documentation. The say if individuals and institutions are held accountable for their actions, it will help to create a culture of respect for human rights in the country. You find that when a people or citizens uh, feel that um, they have no uh, hope in their country, they are, uh, they are not getting any benefit from their country, uh, citizens most times, some of them will refer to self-help. So I think one, one of the major cause of um, uh, um, mass atrocities is, for me, is, um, bad governance. So when government um, um, is not delivering enough to the better the human condition, uh, some people will become receivers, especially the youth. So we believe that documenting these atrocities is very important in order to get justice. Because if you don't understand the dynamics of these or the drivers of these mass atrocities, you might you cannot be able to or you may not be able to effectively address various papers were presented on how individuals and institutions can assist in coping mass atrocities in the country with special reference to national electoral process. According to statistics, what? mass atrocities for last year shows that five thousand seven hundred and ninety-two persons were killed in Nigeria alone, with Kaduna recording one thousand three hundred and forty-six and Zamfara nine hundred and twenty-five, with five thousand one hundred and sixty-two reported cases of abduction. Northwest has the highest number of deaths and kidnapping recorded due to bandits' attack, with South South recording the lowest. One of the things we're doing, we've unfortunately had a very uh, slow response. In fact, it's alarming that the administration, the outgoing administration, has sat and overseen these things. We've not seen enough justice, we've not seen accountability for these killings. Uh, even as we speak right now, the attacks are going on. A few days ago, there were over 100 people killed in Plateau. Southern Kaduna has grown. Binui has atrocities going on, and so on and so forth. Several states. And business is carrying on as usual. We're planning on the inauguration. Nobody's allowed. The incoming administration is like, okay. The current one is like, we don't care. We've got our protection. That has got to change. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.